How's it going guys? You're joining us here at the KO8 HQ. We've got a special guest in with us all the way over from the UK. So we're gonna put you through a fantastic workout. So yeah, today guys, while I'm over, we thought two for one, get in with Sean. It's gonna be a hit workout. First of all, a little bit of a warm up. Then we're gonna go rep for rep. I'll be coaching Sean, he'll be coaching me, and we'll all be coaching you at home. That's right, so you will have two different levels that you can follow, one advanced and one with a slight regression for those that need to work at a little bit of a less intensity. But I will start with the warm up. You need to be on suspension from a high anchor point and you're gonna follow us right through guys, okay? So without further ado, take your position. We're gonna go with two handles. Make sure you've got space in front of you and we're gonna start with a chest lunge fly. So let's open in to these alternate legs. And as we find that bottom position in the lunge, make sure that we're applying some pressure through the handles so we get a nice stretch across the chest, leading into that anterior delt, so the front side of the shoulder. Okay, on this next one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop and then we're gonna rotate over the front leg. So if your left leg is in front, we're gonna rotate the body to the left. Oh, that feels the right good. Right side to the right side. Back to center. Then we're gonna go up overhead Lean your chest forward, a nice big circle, so we're getting a really good stretch as we work in different directions with the shoulder. Don't rush this part, now we're gonna step back. Switch legs, same thing, arms wide, tilt the body and rotate through the trunk, over that other side. You feel the tightness in there? For sure. There you go. <laughs> back to centre with the torso, arms overhead, very, very slow, just working on that. Range of motion for the shoulder joint. Okay, step back, we'll do one more on each side. So again, we step in first. We can tilt over the body. So we'll lengthen here from the, underneath the armpits, right into the hip flexor on that side. So we get some really good length and you get a nice stretch. Then we come back to center. Arms go overhead, lean in, let the arms come back. You can bring your body back if you need some room to rotate that shoulder and then we'll hit the other side one more time. So lean in, over we go. Back to center, arms overhead, nice big circles, um, back in. Okay, now we're gonna step back. So put your feet further back towards the anchor point, drop the shoulders to the wrists, and we're gonna go a little bit more dynamic again with this leg extension. So we're sitting back onto the heels, and we're driving through into full extension, squeeze the quads at your own pace. Make sure though with this one guys, you squeeze those glutes at the top and squeeze those quads. We're gonna get some nice contractions here and wake everything in the bottom half. Okay, now we're gonna rotate, facing the anchor point into a suspended row position. We're gonna come up with that row. As we go back down to start position, we're gonna sit onto our heels and press up. So it's a four part movement, row in, squat down. So we go up, we go out, we go down and up. Same thing, in, out, down and up. Again, this will be fairly light, but we're just moving and waking things up. Well done. Good, we're gonna do three more like this. Two more. Keep your body nice and straight when we hit that row for this last one. Good, and take your feet, step out. Okay, now we're gonna go into a dead hang position, so hips back, lengthen the arms. You might need to step back if you need to, shouldn't be any slack. Now just pull away from the anchor point, get some separation in behind those shoulders. Okay, now take a deep breath in. We're gonna lean forward so the weight is in the, right through the middle of the foot, and we're gonna rotate up as high as we can, getting that nice spinal twist. Right hand back to the center. Again, deep breath in. On the exhale, let's like the left arm up and over. Keep the wrist in line with the shoulder and keep focus on the hand. So as we rotate through the palms, eyes should be looking up. One more time on that side. 
my version isn't the regression by the way, that's just because Sean is a lot more mobile than me, so if you look more like me, don't worry guys, eventually we'll get to Sean's level. Okay, last little thing we're gonna do, take the red band, just detach it from the anchor point, we're gonna take it into its own position, and we're gonna continue to work on those shoulders before we get into it. So what I want you to do guys is take the band in either hand, add a little bit of tension, and we're gonna go up over the head. Now the good thing about using this is, if you're tight and it gets tricky, especially in this section, you can stretch the band, allow your shoulders a little bit more space to complete the movement, okay? Even when we come back to the starting position, keep that tension on, that's what's gonna make those rear delts light up, okay? Now we're gonna stop in the middle, we're gonna add 10 pulses, stretch, there we go, three, four, five, six, so the band's just hitting the chest, eight, nine, 10, now we're gonna go almost in like a backstroke motion, right arm's gonna go first, up and over the head, left hand stays where it is, we come back to center, then we go left hand. You can allow a little bit of trunk rotation, again, we're just stretching the band, working that shoulder, and you're working both sides, good. You can do this at your own pace, or you can stay the same as us, but now we should start to feel a lot of heat to the area there in behind the neck and the shoulders and we can come down okay last one we're going to do keep the tension on the band we're just going to add the twist press above the head come back down push it out twist the opposite side bring it into chest push it up remember there shouldn't be any slack on the bands keep that tension on in up down rotate and we're done okay there we go finally we can shake them off you should make sure that those shoulders should be working hard and you will feel that stress in the muscle. So now we're gonna get into the first block. I'll pass you over. Okay guys, so don't need the band for this part. You can put it back on your KOA if you want to, but as I say, you don't need it just yet. So, first thing we're gonna do guys is set your KOA up to a higher position. So if you haven't done this before, take the big black carabiner, attach it to the top of the D-ring, so that your handles are nice and high on both sides. What we're going to do now, guys, is work in blocks of one minute. So two exercises back to back, 60 seconds, so 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Quick 15 second rest or interval before we go on to two different movements, okay? If you've done my training before, guys, okay, we combat very similar format. Now, movements. First one, guys, we're going into a pull up, so a nice wide grip pull up. So, key thing here, guys, drop down. If you're working with the door, so your door anchor is going to be here. You want to make sure that your feet are right up against that door, okay? So the further you go back, the more you're working like traditional suspender pull-up. What we want to be doing is going right underneath that anchor point, as close as you can get. And then from there, shoulders come back. We're going to pull, elbows flare out to the side. So overhand grip, palms facing in towards the anchor point all the way through. So there, up, pull, nice squeeze in the lats and then down slow as we can, okay? First movement. Second move on that 30 seconds. Step back into it. It's gonna be a double lunge. So lunge, lunge, down, squat, jump. If that's too much on the legs, guys, just take the jump out. Step, step, feet wide, and then we squat. Okay, so that's the first minute after the 15 second rest. We're going in again, but this time it's gonna be a chin up. So now we turn as we pull up, we turn so the palms face in towards you. We're trying to get the handles into the chest. Nice big squeeze in the biceps, and then you can rotate on the way back down, okay? Once again, up, pull, and back down. If it gets a little bit too much, guys, remember, you can use the legs, so plant the feet, push up through the legs, through the quads, to give assistance where needed. But if you can, try and keep it on the arms and the back. Okay, last move in this one. It's gonna be a squat jump. So from here, down, squat, Cross the feet, cross the feet. Boom, boom. And again, guys, easier variation, just take the jump out. Okay, let's get ready. Little countdown, 30, 30, 15. We're gonna be working for around about seven and a half, eight minutes in total with your intervals. Let's go, let's go, guys, straight under. And from there we pull. So with this one, guys, we wanna make sure that the upper body is doing the majority of the work. So with the feet on the ground, try your best 
to do the majority of the work with the pull. We always say, imagine you standing up. 10 very, seconds. Very thin ice. If you've got too much force going through the feet, you're gonna fall through the ice, okay? So keep those feet light, let the upper body. Two, one, and time. From there, guys, lunge, lunge, squat. Boom, and up we go. So quick transition with those legs if we can. And squat jump. Should be nice and warm now, guys. As I say, if you wanna just stick to the lunge, lunge, standard squat, that's absolutely fine. 10 seconds, keep going, guys, keep working. Well done, Clans. Nice form. All the way, nearly there. Last five. Three, two, one, and time. Great start. Well done, guys. Staying with us. 15 seconds. It comes back around fast. This time, chin up position. Let's get ready. In five, three, two, one. Let's go. So now, palms facing in. Big squeeze. Go at your own pace, guys. What you'll start to feel is your grip strength will go. So you get four arms, you're gonna get biceps, you're gonna get your back, your lats, everything working here. 10 seconds, guys, adjust your grip if you need to. Well done. Push, 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 come on. Last five. Three, two, one, crisscross squat. So from there, down and back. Let's go. High tempo, high pace. It's a quick movement, guys. Make sure we don't squat and cross the bottom. Cross comes the top. Then we're back down. Work, work, work. Well done. Yes, clans. 10 seconds. Push, push, guys. Superb. Three, two, one. Ooh. And 15 seconds. That's one round in the bag. Well done. Two more to go. Shake him off. Lock going yes. through the forearms, guys, on this one as well. So especially when we go to the leg exercises, try to give your grip a break. Okay, light on the handles. Let's go, round two. Pull-ups. Nice, well done, get it up. Good, good, good. Little variation, guys, if you need to. From here, push off that back leg. Throw it in, but if we can, keep both feet down. All the way. Let's work, let's work, guys. Come on. Last five. Three, two, one. Lunge, lunge, squat, jump. Let's go. Quick and up. Like we always say, guys, ninja on a roof. Really soft landing, protect the knees. Excellent work. And again, if we need to, lunge it back. Lunge it back. Standard squat. Don't let the knees collapse on that inside. Stay strong with it. Almost there, guys. Keep pushing, keep working. Last five. Three, two, one. 15 seconds. Well done, well done. Get ready. See what I mean, guys? You can feel, if you're like me, you can feel the stress that are going through the muscles on the palms and fingers. So use your opportunity on the leg exercise to give those fingers a rest. It's gonna be intense on this next one. Let's go. Chin ups again, guys. Pull it in, squeeze. So as Sean was saying, it's not an area of the body we use that often, grip strength, unless you're rock climbing daily. It's something that's quite weak in the body. So you'll find that your grip may fatigue before your lats or even your biceps. Get them in, guys. Last five, three, two, one, and time. Well done, squat, crisscross, let's go. Down, down. That's it, push. Again, guys, we need to take jumps out of this one. Just from here, standard squats all the way through. Really ground yourself into that floor, drive it up, squeeze the quads, top of the movement. Well done. Yes, clan, good pace, keep working. Almost there, guys. Push, push, push. In five, three, two, one. Time. Two down, one to go. Well done. Good start. You can see we're coming at these with intent here. Tough moves, breaking you in. Let's get go. ready. And time, pulls again. Try and keep Up. the reps good quality, guys. So if you do begin to fatigue in the arms, in the lats, that's where you're gonna recruit the help from the legs, okay? 
Try and work full range of motion. Arms fully extended at the bottom. Elbows into rib cage. 10 seconds, come on. Last time on this one. Push. Three, two, one. And time. Well done, well done. Lunge, lunge. Let's go. Come on. Finish strong. That's it, push. Push. Once again, guys, if you need to, step it back. Step it back. And then even if you can, get a squat jump in there. Standard lunge. Standard lunge. Squat jump if you can. Yes, push. Last five. Come on. Let's go. Three, two, one. Time. Excellent work, guys. One more minute to go. Final time on these last two exercises. Let's get ready. Keep it going, guys. Last one. Make it your best one. As we pull, we rotate the wrists. Fingers will be up to chest. A nice contraction. Let's go. Pull it in. Pull it in. We know it bends, guys. Get past it. Take your mind somewhere else. Well done. Dig deep. Get after it. Push, 10 seconds, come on. Keep Final few reps. In five, three, two, one. Well done. Woo. Hands are on fire. Crisscross squat, let's go, let's go. Push, that's it. Work guys, work. Keep going at home, come on. Stay with us. Nice and consistent with that breath. Blow it out. Deep squat. Quick transition, 10 seconds. Come on, get them in. Let's get it. Almost there. In three, two, one. And time. Excellent work, guys. Well done, well done. Woo! You should be out of breath, guys, like us. If that's where you are, you're in the right place. Make sure that when we move into this next pit, we're gonna be hitting the core. So, as I'm demonstrating these next four exercises, What's important here is you work to your own level. If you've got any back problems, or you feel like your weakness may be your core, I'm gonna show you some nice, easier variations which Kieran will be doing. So you can follow me. I'm thankful for. <laughs> you can follow Kieran, okay guys? So, but what we do want is make it challenging, okay? Don't have a day off, I'm sure you're not, but let's go. So, we are gonna extend the KO8 now. Sticking with suspension mode, but let's Bring the length back down to its traditional setting and we're going to now open out the foot cradles. I really want you to be at a stage where in a tall plank your feet are horizontal. If it's too high, you're gonna be inverted and it's gonna be more intense on the shoulders. So if you need to, just allow yourself a couple more inches length and we're gonna get in, okay? So we've got two exercises, I'll show you what they are. The first two, lie back, feet in. Spin, it's the easiest way to get into this setup. Now, we're gonna go into tall plank. So we want wrists directly underneath the shoulders. If you're too far forward, it's gonna give you some problems, okay? Spread the fingers, and we're gonna lift up. Once we're here, body stiff like a plank. If available, we're gonna go knees to chest, okay? And we're gonna continue with that reps. If you're gonna work at a lower intensity, we're coming up nice and strong, like the plank. We'll bring one rep in, come back out, drop the knees to the floor, take a quick break, okay? So that's your variation. When the bell goes and we're moving into the next exercise, what I want guys is you to go from your tall plank into a forearm plank, so we're going slightly lower, if I can find the handle. Okay, now, second exercise is here. And all you're gonna do is just stay in this plank, okay? If you wanna go further, we can open the legs, squeeze the glutes, bring them back in. If you're working and following Kieran, your choice is to stay as a plank for the whole 30 seconds, or we do very small intermittent efforts at like three seconds up. One, two, three, and then we come back down. Okay, so there's one and two. When we get to three and four, guys, we are gonna be moving onto our backs, and we're gonna get ourselves set up with feet inside the handles, arms spread back, chest nice and high, and we're gonna bridge at the hips. So we're lifting up, squeezing those glutes, pushing down with the feet. And then number four, you're gonna sit up, take both handles, adjust yourself. So you need to sit away from the door if you're working at home, 
and we're gonna go into those V-sits. So we extend and crunch, extend and crunch, okay? That's the job. So we've got four exercises. Let's get ourselves ready to go. Same format, 30, 30, 15 rest, 30, 30, 15 rest. And we're gonna go round three times. All right, let's get to it. Feet in onto our front, spread the fingers, nice wide base, and let's get ready to set this time. Okay? Into position, guys. Last couple of breaths. Okay, spread those fingers. Knees are gonna come off nice and strong here. Okay, front and back, squeeze the abs, squeeze the glutes. Three, two, one, and up. Okay, knees tuck into elbows and out. I don't care how fast you perform these reps, slow and strong is perfect, okay? Fantastic. So if you're working on a door at home, the tips of your toes might just come in contact with the door. If you're too far away from the door, you won't be able to get your knees all the way up into the chest. Three seconds, two, one, drop to the forearms and lift. Hold, okay? So you might just work for three seconds. You might even forget the opening of the legs entirely and just stay into your regular plank. Three seconds up, three seconds down. So you can work at any stage here, guys. You can stay like I am, completely still. If you want to challenge yourself, we can go ahead and open out. Get ready. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're going over. So now, Position yourself on your back. Let your head rest, let your neck rest, arms out to the side, okay? When the bell goes, we're gonna be going up. Now try and focus on getting your waistband high up to the ceiling. We squeeze the glutes, we bring it down. Up and squeeze, and come down. So this is gonna be working those hamstrings, working those glutes, or posterior chain, and it's a tough one. Once again, guys, you can go at Sean's pace, or if you find this move a little bit difficult, come up, one, and then hold the bottom for around three seconds. Again, quality reps over quantity, guys. Almost there. And change, okay. Into V-sits, take the handles, shuffle back, extend, and crunch. Now again, we want most of the work to be done in the core, so if we can, we're holding those handles really light, maybe one finger. If you need to, you can take a good grip on the handles like Kieran and use the upper body to help you to that top position. Also guys, if you need to, put your feet on the floor, little rest in between, feet on the floor. And Okay guys, we're right back to the start. Tall planks with the knee tucks. I'm gonna work with Kieran just to show you a little bit of what I want you to be mindful of, okay? So, find this position. Nice spread fingers, wrist directly on the shoulder, and if we can, knees are gonna go as close to those elbows as possible. Like I said before, if your starting position is pretty high, you won't have enough length in the strap, okay? Continue knees in, knees out. And if you're gonna do the regressed version, just come knees to ground. Brace, back in, shoulder over wrist, up, tuck, let it out, knees down, okay? Now we're gonna move into the forearm plank in three, two, one, go. So again, watch if you can. I'm gonna show you the levels. So we've got regular plank with a knee drop. Back up to regular plank. And you can go three seconds on, five seconds on, whatever your level is, and come down. This time you can go up the, up the ladder, a little more difficult. We have that separation of the ankles, and we come down. That's gonna really work into the adductors here. The further you can get those straps, you're working into those glutes as we go into that split movement, okay? Now, get ready to change. We're gonna have a 15 second rest. This time we're gonna get onto our backs. Set up for this one, guys, is we're looking for good angles. So our feet, they should be in the handles and they should have 90 degree level from the knee and the knee should have a 90 degree angle from the hip, okay? We're bringing those angles into one straight line. So as he comes up, we have shoulder, hip, knee, all in one correct line, okay? Up and squeeze, let yourself down slow. When he comes up and squeezes, you're gonna feel those hamstrings really working hard. That's what we're looking for, okay? You wanna feel the work in the backside of the lower body, okay? Five more seconds, let's get ready. In three, well done. 
one and time. Feet out, hands on. Shuffle back away from the door, give yourself enough space to allow your legs to come to full extension and we tuck in. So we call these V-sits because at the top of the movement, the body is shaped like a V. We're balancing on the hips. As we extend and open our body, the core has to work really, really hard for stability. So you can add as many reps as you can. You work at your own intensity. Very, very good. You have three seconds left. Two, one. Okay, I'm gonna do the last set with you. Wow. Core is on fire. Absolute fire. All right, guys, let's get Stay ready. with us, guys. Five seconds. The last two, we're okay. Let's move it up. Let's get those intensity levels where we want. Follow me if you want that burn. We're having high rep range. But with control, okay? There's no point doing this. No point, it's not gonna work. Knees in, crunch the abs. 10 seconds, guys, keep working. And change, okay, down to the forearm plank. Up we go. And hold. Open those legs if you can, get the squeeze and the glutes and come back. Make sure we don't bow our spine. We're not trying to hyperextend. We have to keep that constant tension in those abs. Suck the belly. 10 seconds, guys. Keep going. Suck it up into the spine. Strong. Well done. Three seconds. Two, one, and over we go. Make sure you're in line with the anchor point, guys. Shoulders back, chest up. And let's get ready. Drive through the heels, or if you like us barefoot, Drop your foot on top, and let's go. Remember guys, work to your pace, work to your level. If you need a longer pause at the bottom, take that pause, and then get a nice good quality contraction. Drive the feet into the handles, get those hips nice and high, squeeze the hamstrings, squeeze the glutes. Oh, it's a burner, definitely a burner. You might be on the verge of cramp. Happens to a lot of us, this one. Keep it going, we're almost there. And change. All right, last exercise, guys, well done. V-sits. If we're comfortable, let's go at pace. Keep it going, keep it going. Don't stop, almost there. We've got five seconds, almost there. Three, two, one, and Woo! out. Well done, well done. Fantastic work. Sweat is on. If you feel you need to stretch those abs, we just sink our hips, lift the chin. Grab yourself a water, guys. We've got one more set of work to do. This is gonna be in resistance mode. So we're gonna adjust our KO weight, take the suspension out, we're done with that part. Absolutely dripping, by the way. <laughs> if you're working like we are working, should be dripping too. Out of breath. Nice thing here, guys, we're trying to make it really varied. So, some isolation movements, i.e., your glute ham raise, focusing on single body parts, then your compound moves, which you'll see now. A bit more dynamic, changing of the pace, great to shock the body and throw different things in. So, this one, guys, we're going to take off suspension on both sides. Depending on your level, guys, we're going to go two blacks. If you want to go one black, one red, make it a little bit easier, do so. I'm gonna go one black, one black. Fine, if you wanna go two blacks and a red, beast mode's activated, then by all means, do that as well. Okay, so first movement, guys, spinning to the anchor point. What we're gonna do is work on a hip throw, but at the same time, it's gonna be a little skip at the same time as that movement. So, from here, guys, one handle, two hands over. As we come through, skip, and then throw over the shoulder. So it's just a small movement, guys. We don't need to make big, Lateral bounds like skaters. It's just a little movement. One foot goes behind the other, and then we're rotating down to that same direction. Hitting those obliques, side of the abs, little crunch. After we've done that, we're gonna take the KO weight in a different way. So, as opposed to the handle, I want each hand on the strap from here. We're gonna drop down into it, hinge the hips slightly, and then from there, it's gonna be a straight arm pull down, working those lats. Again with this, you can go fast and wrap it out, but what I find is 
you're gonna work more, you need to get a nice deep squeeze every time you bring them down. From there guys, second block, we're gonna take the bands, one in each hand, we're gonna drop down from here into the squat position, it's gonna be two rows, one, two, up, feet together, back down, one, two, up, feet together, back down. Again, if it's too tough guys on the legs, take the jump out of the equation, and from here, we can just work rows all the way through. And then to finish us off, last movement, Vitruvian tuck jumps, one of our favorites. Hands nice and wide, feet nice and wide, come together in the middle, hands come together, feet come together, make a little ball, crunch those abs, and then make sure your core is engaged because what it'll wanna do, like just happened to me, is pull you back off balance, okay? So you need to get down into a nice stable position before you go again. Okay guys, it's your last block, it's your last one, it's your finisher, finish strong, get it done. Let's get ready, one handle to start us off. Time, let's go, from there, just a little movement. Get it in, stick to the rhythm guys, well done. All the way, 15 seconds, rotating from the trunk, good, 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 hitting those obliques. 10 seconds. Keep your balance on this one, guys. It's easy to fall out of balance. So take your time with the skip, okay? Take your time with it. And time, guys. Okay, from there. Same, like we just demoed. Hinge movement. Down and squeeze. Arms right over the head. Hitting those lats. Lats should already be pre-fatigued from your pull-up variations at the start. Now check this Use one, that guys. breath. If your arms are fully extended at this top portion and you're into slack, you may be a bit too close, okay? So we need to make sure that even when your arms are at the top, there is tension, okay? And time, well done guys, 15 seconds. Okay, comes around fast as we know. Take the two handles this time. Squat roll, let's get ready. Three, On that bell. Two, one. Down we go, one, two, up, back down, one. Two, let's go. Let's work guys, let's work. So as we see, Sean nice and light on his feet. It's a quick transitional movement and then on that row, elbow coming past the line of the spine. That way he's getting full range of motion in his lats and he's working his biceps, 10 seconds. Keep going at home guys, stay with us. Let's work, let's go. Almost there. Five, three, two, one, time. Spin it round. Let's go, tuck jumps. You go, I go. Let's go, you go, I go. One in, one out. Let's push, let's push, let's push. Yes. Come on, guys, come on. 15 seconds. Attack this one. Yes. Power, arms working, core's working, legs. Everything together, full body. Push. Last five. Let's go. Two, one, and time. One in the bag. Two to go. That's gonna bring that heart rate all the way up, guys, if you're working at a good intensity. Make sure when we come in, ankles are gonna go closer. Five when seconds. Back out, legs are wide. Two, one, take one handle again. And down we go. Rotate, pull through. So you never fully straighten the legs on this one, guys. You can see with Sean, the knees are always a little bit flexed. Again, light on the toes, one foot plants, one heel raises, one foot plants for stability, one raises, nice rotation, let's go. Work, 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 his arms are pretty straight, guys. Getting a nice contraction each time. Three, two, one. Lat pull downs once again, come on. As Sean was saying, we don't want any slack on those bands. So even before you pull down, keep it tight. And then hands are gonna go right in between the legs. You can probably see here, guys. If you had a t-shirt off, you'd see those lats working there. All the way down, well done. Lower part of the lats, getting a major workout here. 10 seconds. Even the triceps on this one, guys. Because the arms are locked out, squeeze the back of the arms. And time. Well done. Okay, let's get ready. Double row, squat jump. Into position. Let's get set in five, three, Two, one, let's go. There we go. Same again, guys, no slack on those bands. Get them in. Nice deep rolls. 
push, push, push. Yes, yes, work. 10 seconds. Nice, Sean. You can see control movement, guys. He's not rocking backwards and forwards to move the bands. It's all done in this nice straight linear line. Push, two, one. Spin it round. You go, I go. Let's move, let's move. <laughs> Vamos. Here we go. Let's get after it. Go on, guys, go on. Nice and long. Work that core. Heart rate's up. Should be sweating. 10 seconds. Get them in. Strong reps. Come on. In five, three, two, one. And time. Ooh. Great work, guys. Two down, one more left. Make sure this is your best round throughout the whole workout. I want to get the last 10% out of your body now. Give it to me. Get your second wind. Push to the final. And let's right, go. guys. I'm just trying to look, bring a little bit of attention to the technique. So for those of you that this is quite technical, find that you're losing your balance. What we're doing is we're hinging at the hips. So we are bending there at the hips, but we're adding the rotation to the torso. So as he hits each rep, the hands are coming to the side of the leg, almost by the pocket of his shorts, okay? You're getting that twist through the core, which is allowing him to work the obliques as well as the abdominals, okay? Well done. Almost there, guys. And it's changing. Here we go. Last one on the lap pull, guys. There's no bend in the elbow. You're bringing the handle in between the legs. And your end position is as your forearms connect to the inside of the thigh. Almost there, last five, guys. Come on, push. In three, two, one. 60 seconds and then we're done. Let's work, let's go, big finish. Remember your okay. foot position on this one, guys. Every time you bounce, bringing the feet together, go back to the same spot. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's work. Keep the chest up and keep your eye line on the anchor point. So your chin is slightly lifted. And you just come on, guys. Up the line of the bands. Come on, work with us. Work with us. Dig deep. This is where we make gains. When it hurts, when it burns, push through. Five, three, two, one. Oh. Together, together, together. Let's go. Blast them out. Let's go. Let's go. Push. Push. Come on, guys. Oh, guys. Stay with us, stay with us. Come on, 15 seconds. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, 10 seconds. Push. Get them in. Final few reps. Work, guys. Work. Finish lines in sight. That's three, two, one. Oh. Yes, fella. Well done. Ah. Fantastic. Hope none of you fell over doing that one. Hard to keep your balance. Well done. Very good, very good. Okay guys, so we've done there three blocks, each block three times round. It's a very, very good full body, high intensity workout. The arms should be feeling really pumped. Abs have done so much work as well. So well done if you're stuck with us from start to finish. Great effort guys. As Sean says, tough one, challenging one, demanding in many different ways. We've got a lot going on in that workout, but we hope you enjoyed it. Give us some feedback, get on KOA community on Facebook, Throw some feedback out there, guys. Let us know how you found it. And we'll see you again for another KO8 On Demand workout. See you guys.